I didn't. I had no idea that his fans were called Cumberbitches until this week, and everybody's like, "Are you a Cumberbitch?" I'm like, "Pardon? <laughs> what is that?" Hi, I'm Krista Smith, and I am here with Kira Knightley, who has two films up at Toronto: Laggies and The Imitation Game. Uh, I think you, more than any other actress, have gone in every period. You really have done so many different. I was just trying eras. to think about if there was one that I hadn't that I'd quite like to. I'm sure there is. Ancient Rome, that would be quite fun. Do you feel more comfortable in one, or are you just kind of... I, I've always been fascinated with the 40s. I mean, I, I've done three films mm -hmm. based in, in this particular era, and it's still one that, you know, the more you find out about it, the more the more fascinating it becomes. Um, and I think, you know, with this, that, that there's a really interesting part, which is about the, the morality of sort of... of um, of the greater good. And actually, there was a thing that came out yeah. only a couple of years ago where one of the worst bombings in, um, for England in the Second World War was Coventry City, which got completely flattened with huge loss of life. And they knew that that attack was going to happen. And for strategic reasons, they chose to allow it to happen. Um, second time round with Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah. <laughs> what, what can you uh, enlighten um, throngs of teenage American girls who love Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch? <laughs> he's a lovely dude. Always really annoying to go out with because you can guarantee he's going to be late when you meet him up and he's going to have to go home early because he's always coming from work and mm -hmm. having to start really early in the morning. Um, do you talk to the, the like, Chloe Grace? Did you guys talk about, like... I love Chloe. Yeah. Chloe Grace Moretz. Yes. I'm, I'm so sorry. Full name. What is she? Is she 18 now? Not even. Not even, not right. Even. 17. 17 still, yeah. She's so confident. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how do you get that confident? Like, I was in a heap when I was 18. I love her. But you know what? You weren't in a heap. The perception of you was not that you were in a heap. No, but I know, but it was completely wrong. Yeah. <laughs>